In this video, I'm going to show you the automation or envelope knob in Reaper. So as a quick review, we have a track over here, and to see the envelopes for this track, or the things we use for automation, we can go here to the envelope button, we can see them right here, volume, pan, width, and so on. And if we had effects on this track, we'd have envelopes for those as well, which we could see an arm in here. We could also use keyboard shortcuts to see volume, select the track, type V, and we could see the volume envelope. Or type P to see the pan envelope. Let's keep it simple and start with the volume envelope. Right here, this decides how loud or how quiet our track is, if we're using automation or an envelope. Now to draw in an envelope, on PC, hold on Control, and on Mac, hold on Command. And see the cursor changes, and just start drawing an envelope, which contain all these points. And we can redraw it right on top to change it, move it up or down like this. Let's first select the points. To do that, move them left or right. And we could also just create some points. Hold on the shift key to create some points. And we could adjust them just by grabbing one and adjusting that point. Or we can grab the space between two points, known as an envelope segment, and just move that up and down. And it's adjusted by these four points. Move this closer, like this, and just adjust this envelope segment. And we could also adjust the curve from this point to this point. Hold on Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, we could drag it to adjust our fade out right here, or fade in over here, and we could adjust this curve. We could also move points up and down, or left and right while constraining the movement. On PC, it's Control Shift, and on Mac, it's Command Shift. Hold that down, move it up or down, it constrains the movement. But if we move left and right first, it constrains it this way. So we can't go up or down, just side to side. And we can do that with a group of points. Let's select both, do the same thing, go up and down, we can't go left or right. We'll go left and right, and we can't go up and down. So it's great for moving points one at a time or as a group if they're all selected and constraining up and down or left and right. We could also just move one point by selecting it, go up and down just for that point, or again, in between two points, like this. And that behaves like an envelope segment. But the purpose of this video is to talk about this button right here, which is the automation or envelope knob. If none of the points are selected, by default, it's going to change the entire envelope. So you can move it up or down, change the volume of the entire track or project, or we could do it point by point by selecting one point, bring it up or down, and just adjust that point or a group of points. Let's select these, bring it up or down, and we can adjust it with this one knob. Bring it down or up. And we could also do it with a time selection. Create a time selection from here to here, move it up, and just the envelope within the time selection is adjusted. Create a time selection over here, do the same thing. And we could also do it with razor editing. Hold on Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and right click drag to create a razor edit. Now we can move it up and down from here. But once these points are selected and we start to move them, we can then adjust it with the automation or envelope knob. Bring it down or up from here. So if you prefer a knob, we could always use this one right here. Now by default, we have to grab the knob. If you prefer to use the mouse wheel, 
We can go to our preferences. On PC, it's Control P. On Mac, it's Command Comma. And we can scroll down to mouse. And right over here, by default, Reaper's going to ignore the mouse wheel on our faders. But if we want that behavior, we could turn it on, put a mouse wheel over here, and adjust it up and down for volume or pan or the automation or envelope knob. Put the cursor right here and move the mouse wheel up and down to adjust those points. With a razor edit, with a time selection, point by point, or selecting multiple points. Let's create a few, adjust it right here, or adjust it with the knob, up or down. Let's delete these points. Now we could also create a time selection, hold the control shift on the PC, command shift on the Mac, and it'll create points for us for this area. Do the same over here or over here to adjust just the section we want to work on. But again, we could do the same thing by using our knob, using our mouse wheel, or just grabbing it up and down, just to adjust those sections. Now this also could be very useful for panning. Type P to see our pan, and let's say we create a point right here, pan it to the left, another one here, pan to the right, and so on. And let's say this panning is too wide. We could select just these points on the left by lassoing them, by right dragging. And now we can use the automation or envelope knob and bring them in a bit on the left side and do the same on the right side. So it's not quite as wide. Or we'll select them all, bring them all to the left or to the right together. But finally, my favorite way to use this is when I'm adjusting certain volumes in sections. Let's create a point right here. We could start off bringing it up to a certain level as we hit play. And let's say right over here, we want to change it. We can create two points. The second is still selected. And we can adjust it like this. So we can play the track and we'll hear it in time to find the level we need. And if we're happy, up to here, create two new points. This one is selected. Now we can adjust this section separately. Hit play and just adjust that point and we'll hear the result in real time. So we can go through the song section by section or segment by segment with a time selection and readjusting the level for each section. With our knob, we're doing it right from here, if we prefer. We're doing it point by point, or bringing it up or down, or constraining it to up and down, or left and right. We're doing it with an up. Bring it down or up, or we'll select multiple points like here, and just adjusting those points with our knob right here, up or down. And again, it's most useful with nothing selected and adjusting the entire envelope, up or down, for any parameter in Reaper. So that's pretty much it. That's the automation or envelope knob in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.